YouTube. It is Greg from Team Hybrid BMX. So guys, have to admit, it's been a crazy, awesome, wonderful week. The weather here has been insane. I started my new job and everything seems to be going great. Um, on this episode, got a couple different things going on. Um, later on in this episode, I'm going to be doing a trail video that doesn't include any riding. Sorry guys. It's the beginning of the season. Things are just starting to roll out. I promise you we're going to get some riding in. I promise. Um, probably tomorrow we're going to get some clips in. So that'll be good. Um, but that'll be on next week's video. Uh, for this week though, I had a bunch of stuff. And this is why I'm so frustrated right now. Like so like upset right now. I did a full like two hour long like session to the mall on like review of like riding shoes. Like I went to... Tilly's, which I, I met, the manager at Tilly's is great, the manager at uh, Zoomies was great, and I'm sorry guys, like I know I said I was going to plug you, I seriously deleted all the videos just to make enough space on my phone, because I had edited the video, and then I deleted the videos that were on my phone, thinking that it would still download the video, um, when I went to save it on my editor, and it didn't, it deleted everything, and so I lost all that hard work I did for, for nothing. Uh, also, the girl at Journeys, uh, sales associate, she was awesome. Great job. It was great talking to you. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't buy from you guys, but I will always talk um, awesomeness about these companies uh, because they do put out some of the best riding gear for, for riders and skaters. Um, but I ended up going to Famous Footwear uh, because I found the best deals that I could there. So uh, I'm going to put that on here in just a minute, and we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Oh, look, Famous Footwear back. I just want to say before I like get crazy into this, I was really upset by the fact that I like made this really awesome, long, perfect video. Um, like so we're working on the edit last night. I went to Tilly's. I went to Journeys. Um, by the way, and Zoomies. By the way, all the people that worked there were great. They were super helpful in helping me pick out shoes that were really awesome. Now I know you're sitting there going, "Well, wait, wait, wait. You didn't pick out shoes there, though." I didn't, but I'm telling you, man. Um, I was trying to do plugs for them and everything. I, I spent two hours in those different stores, like talking to them about riding, talking about everything. And, uh, so I just, it's kind of a bummer. Cause like I, I started to edit it and I didn't have enough space on my phone and I put the edit in, I tried to save the edit and it wouldn't save correctly. So I started deleting videos. It deleted all my content from my edit. Um, so I think I'm going to be looking into a different editing program. I'm a little bit upset about it because I really did do a really good job of getting you guys an awesome edit. It was going to be a wonderful video. Um, so but either way, tonight I'm going to be doing some riding, filming some clips. Hopefully I can catch them. Um, if not, I'm doing some riding tomorrow as well. So we'll be catching some riding there too. Uh, on this video too, we're going to be doing, like I said earlier, we're going to be doing some trail stuff. But let's get right to the shoes here. So... I ended up going to Famous Footwear because I went online, and as you guys know, <coughs> excuse me, as you guys know, <coughs> goodness, <coughs> excuse me, wow, um, as you guys know, uh, the way that I am, I'm very thrifty, so for me, I got to find good deals, and I also have to find something comfortable for me because I'm an older rider, and for you younger riders, this works out really good too, because I wanted to find shoes that were durable and that were going to last a while, which... We're going to be doing like a review of these later on as well. In about probably like six months when the riding season's almost over, I'm going to do a re-review of these shoes or as soon as they start to like really, really wear out. And um, it'll just tell us to give a testament to these shoes. So let's get right to it. So went to Famous Footwear. These shoes were $36 and some change. And I bought some insoles that were $12, but bang. <gasps> oh no, I can hear it all right now. I can hear all the off the wall guys. What the heck, man? Why'd you buy Chuck T's? This is why. Bing! Number one, insoles. Guys, if you haven't invested in some nice insoles, get yourself some nice insoles. These guys are kind of like cheaper, but they're nice because they're meant for canvas shoes. They're meant for like, for like vans off the walls. They're meant for, you know, Converse's like these. And these are the kind of shoes I like riding in because they have like a shell toe on them. So they're a little bit harder. So let's go over this. First, we've got the um, soft sole canvas comfort 
um, trim to fit insoles for canvas, uh, which are impact resistant, which is nice. Ooh, gold rewards, very nice. So anyways, but let's take a look at these shoes. So we got a nice little, well, I haven't even put these, I put these on my feet in the store and that's it. So we got the Converse label here. So and I'm not gonna read you guys all the all the stuff about it, but pretty much the, the the beautiful the beautiful thing about this guy, I mean, beautiful shoe. I mean, it's got this nice, really nice canvas. Uh, the other thing I really liked about these, unlike regular Chuck Tees, is they got a really nice soft padding on the sides. It was something I really wanted for like doing tail whips and stuff like that, like practicing my tail whips and stuff like that. I wanted something that was comfortable on the sides as well, because it had some ankle support. Um, and then, like I said, the insoles inside were really important to me as well uh, for comfortability, because I'm probably going to be walking around Florida here in a couple months. Well, not probably. I'm going to be walking around Florida here in a couple months. Also, guys, you want to look for like a really gummy um, like bottom for your shoes. Like That's why most people buy the off the walls, is because you have these really hard bottoms that last a long time. Unlike like the DCs and the Etnies, not talking crap on them. If you can find them with gum insoles or, or gum soles, you're fine. But if you can't, they're not worth anything. They're gonna burn out really quick. So we're gonna try these guys though. Um, we figure out exactly which model these guys are. Um, let's see. These are the CT Street Mids. So these are the streets. Um, which, I mean, honestly, they're exactly what I wanted. And for the price tag, they're great. I love this, like, brown, too. That's, like, dope. Like, the leather brown. That's cool, man. That's, like, old Chuck T style, man. I love it. I'm not too hot about the white, but I'll get over it. It doesn't really bother me, especially because I'm going to be riding in them. So they're going to get messed up anyway. But, yeah, man. Can't beat it. It all came out to, like, with the insoles and everything, like, 49 bucks. So, yeah, they're nice kicks, man. I'm looking forward to riding in them. I'm looking forward to giving you guys a solid review of what I think of them after I've broken them in and everything. Um, so, but, yeah, guys, uh, we'll be hitting you up soon, doing another review on these shoes. So, uh, and like I said, be expecting an edit. And uh, the next clip on this one, guys, like I said, is going to be an old trail system that we're going to be working on uh, through the summer. Hopefully make it really awesome. Uh, i got another guy on here that just commented that lives in Erie with me. He's a younger kid. I'm pretty sure he lives out toward Harbor Creek. I'm going to try to get him involved in, in his buddies and building those trails back up. And maybe I'll help him out with my brother and maybe a couple other people. So, but anyways, guys, that's it for this time on Team Hybrid BMX. I'll be giving you guys an extra video just because the other one went so awry. I feel bad, especially because I'm not doing, I'm back to doing weekly videos instead of every day. Um, once I get enough content built up that I'm starting to do every day, I'll, I'll start doing every day. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. <laughs> but no, um, where we're at right now, um, some people call it uh, Rolling Ridge Trails. Um, some people call it, my old buddies and I call it Evil Empire Trails. Um, but this used to be a lot different than what it looks like right now. Um, for, for one, in this little gully right here, well I guess it's not a little gully, it's a pretty decent sized gully. Uh, but the way this trail used to work is in, I'm trying to remember which corner it was in. I think it was this corner over here where this tree is. There used to be a quarter pipe that led up this way like this. A couple, uh, probably about seven years ago now. There used to be a nice quarter right there. Um, there's a berm over on that side. Actually, we'll walk the whole entire thing. We'll walk the whole entire thing. But this trail system, um, it's another one of those ones. This is over in Harbor Creek on the like far, far east side of Erie. Um, and this trail is really nice. It's kind of a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know about it. The people that do usually ride it. Um, it's been also mainly used right now of late from what I've seen posting online is people using it for uh, RC cars. A lot of people are using this for RC cars now. Um, but this is also a really great place for, it used to be a huge BMX spot, but like, even like look at that, look at that first, first mound right here after you come in on this gully. This gully used to be really well built too, but you used to be able to flow right into it and go like huck over that thing. 
Um, but either way, I'm thinking that Micah and I, and maybe a couple of the other guys, if I can get them involved, or maybe I can get a couple of Micah's friends involved, and maybe some other guys that actually ride up here. Who knows, maybe there's still some kids that ride this. Uh, but if we can get them involved, get a bunch of shovels out here, and rebuild these trails, I think this is gonna be a restoration project for sure. Because um, this would be a great testament to what BMX really is in Erie PA. It's always been huge for, uh, for, for riding. Um, like trail riding has been huge in Pennsylvania for years. And this is one of the main reasons. I mean, this is in the city technically. Um, it's a, well, it's outside, it's like in a borough. So it's still, it's not quite country and it's not quite city. So it's like a suburb, I guess you could say of, of Erie. Um, but either way, I mean, someone started building something, but it's really mild, um, especially if you're gonna have it as like a double. I would move that double a little bit farther down, build it up a little bit higher. You better build this one up a little bit higher, give it a little bit more vert and then have the other side come down more too. So that way it's a nice smooth transition. Um, and then put another double, go down, hit that other one coming up right there, make that one bigger so that you go up and then come down into the gully. Um, and then when you come down into the gully, have another chute fly out right before you hit the berm over there would be awesome. It's kind of the way we had it built before, um, but it'd just be nice to see it rebuilt and uh, to look nice. So. But I'm hoping we can get some people back here. Get this looking really nice. Um, rebuild, rebuild the uh, Rolling Ridge Trails, the Evil Empire Trails. Now the reason we call them Evil Empire is just like the other trail system that I showed you guys in the one video. And here's another like another double system that we're trying to build right here. It looks like, and it leads all the way over to there. So I mean, there could be. A, I mean, the 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 ability to have trails in here would be endless. I mean, there's so much, and there's so much dirt to be used. Like it's just, it is non-stop buildable, and. The great thing about Pennsylvania soil is too, I know I'm kind of getting off track here guys, but like the reason the Pennsylvania soil is so good for this is like that's super solid, but it's not super hard to dig into either. It's not like, it's not like clay where you're like beating the crap out of the ground trying to get it up or having to go dump water on it. But even if we did have to dump water, it was like the middle of the summer. I'm going to show you guys another part of the system and explain another reason why it's called Evil Empire Trails. Uh, there was a while there when I was like 16, 15, 16 years old, I was living at my grandmother's house and she lived in Lawrence Park, which is like uh, another little borough, like on the other side of the bridge on Buffalo Road. Uh, and that's Harbor Creek. This is split between Harbor Creek and, and Lawrence Park. My grandmother lives in Lawrence, well, used to live in Lawrence Park. So I would come here with my buddies and we'd build ramps all day. We'd build jumps all day and, and work on the trails. Um, but this used to say evil this way an empire on this side but uh after 10 years of you know eerie weather winter weather finally knocked out uh, the other thing i want to do too is kind of make this a, a little bit of restoration project as well get rid of some of like the cans and bottles and junk like, like this like is there a plastic bottle here actually gonna grab that right now but yeah make it a restoration project too because like if you look out in the woods there's just a lot of a lot of random like just bottles and junk laying around like this could just be such a nice reclamation project. Get rid of these stones right here, move them out of the way so we have more room. But yeah, guys, so I'm just hoping that we can make this a really cool, really cool riding spot. Especially this, this one would be such an awesome jump if it was rebuilt, right? If this was rebuilt, right, that would be a sick freaking jump. Be a sick, right now it's a sick jump. I mean, if you get enough speed coming around that corner out of that berm, build up that berm a little bit more again, oh my gosh. You could float through here. It'd be a nice freaking flowy section. So, but anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's what we're up to, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Catch you guys next time on Team Hybrid BMX. Deuces. So, yeah, um, it's like mid, a little bit after midnight right here in Erie, PA on a Sunday. So, uh, this is like my outro piece, I guess, for this video I'm about to edit, um, which is it's a late edit. And I'm sorry, guys. I know it's been like a while. Um, I met some cool cats, um, my brother and I rode today, which was awesome, sorry I didn't film any of it guys, I know you're looking for clips and stuff, you're waiting to see us ride, but I just wanted to pressure off today, like I didn't want any, like, I didn't want anyone like watching me ride or like having the camera on me, I'm still getting used to it, so I kind of just want to ride without it for just a little bit, get comfortable, and then start peeping some stuff, like especially when I start learning new stuff. But like, I want to see you guys see me struggle, but at the same time, I want to just have some fun sometimes and not film. Um, so I'm getting to that point. 
But like I said, I met some homies today. I didn't really get to talk to him very long. I only met him for like maybe like two or three minutes. I just saw him riding right around the corner from my house and they all had nice bikes and uh, they all seemed like cool guys. So I told him, I was like, yo, look, I got a quarter in my driveway. <laughs> and uh, it's just, everything seems to be kind of starting to mend together. Like it's the beginning of the season. People are starting to come out. I'm starting to see more riders here in Erie, which is awesome. And I'm hoping like I can get a collective together, just riders from Erie. Um, and maybe hopefully find some really talented ones and really set up team hybrid the way it should be with some talented riders because like I guess it's where I'm at now guys is like I'm looking to become like a team manager I'm not the greatest rider in the world but I love riding I'm really passionate about it and uh, it's just it's something that I love so you know um, but right now you're probably like why are you being a weirdo like sitting outside like it's just it's a beautiful night it was a beautiful day all day today like 70 degree weather like uh, my cousin he turned 15 um, and he had his pool party today which was really cool and we enjoyed that took the kiddo and I was so proud of my kiddo too man he still got training wheels on his little spider-man bike and he was totally like getting it on the quarter like he was totally like just riding right up to it and like faking down the quarter like with training wheels on with training wheels on he was faking with training wheels like, this kid's going to be a prodigy child, I swear. I cannot wait to see it. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited. My brother's seeming to make some really good progress, uh, BMX and with scooters, too. Um, he definitely has more talent with scooters. So I might just add him onto the team just as a scooter rider, even, because I'm not going to limit it, guys. I don't feel like it's fair to limit it. You know, I feel like Team Hybrid should be, you know, whatever we make it out to be for extreme sports in the area. You know, I, I feel like this town has a good like hearty like beginning in in the sports it's always had a real a real heart for the extreme sports it's just never had the chance because the the city finances just aren't there so i'm hoping to bring the scene here and just make it bigger on this side of the united states i know like some other people do it in new york city but like i just want to bring it right here to hometown to home base you know what i mean because um, it used to be huge here. The trail systems used to be massive, and we're going to rebuild it, dude. It's coming back. You know, BMX is coming back to Erie, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I got some ideas in my mind. I'm mulling together, but uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, this edit. Um, I know it's not long. I know it's not much of anything crazy. Um, it's not a whole bunch of riding. It's more of me just kind of, you know, talking to you guys. Like I said, I had a really nice edit set up with like me going over and doing reviews, different shops for shoes and stuff like that and doing plugs, but it just didn't, I it didn't save on my phone for whatever reason. So it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta accept the, the good with the bad sometimes and just roll with it. So I know this edit isn't the best one in the world. It's not gonna be exactly what you guys want, but I'm telling you, man, just give me time. It'll, it'll make it as it goes. I'm telling you, we're gonna make this channel so much better. Um, but to the guys that I saw tonight, um, hit me up on here. Um, I hope you subscribed. Um, and those that are watching this that haven't subscribed yet, this is your first time on the channel, thank you for showing up. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope you made it to this point. Uh, if you haven't, um, I'm sorry to hear that. And I hope you come back sometime when you see another crazy video of some other riders riding and doing some crazy stuff. Um, not just myself, but others. Um, so for those guys I saw tonight, please like, comment, share, subscribe to me. Um, and then we'll get everybody together. Maybe we'll just do a jam this summer. Maybe we'll set up a jam, just get a, as many riders from Erie as possible and from the surrounding area. So, yeah, hit me up, guys, and I'll catch you next time on Team Hybrid BMX. Deuces.